Hi everybody, welcome to Twin Perspective. I'm Joe. I'm James. <laughs> and tonight we're going to be presenting the best films of 1997. When? The year you were born. When you were born, that's when. Okay, the best films of 1997 are what we like to say at Twin Perspective, the Fucked Up Shit Awards. The Fucked Up Shit Awards. Because the Academy Award doesn't get it right sometimes. And this year, shit, they missed the boat big time, I think. The boat? <laughs> was there a boat in there this was, year? There was, there was a boat on the way to sanity. <laughs> <laughs> the unsinkable shit awards, and the and the reason why we call it the fucked up shit awards is because their idea of sanity is fucked up to us. So I'm sure that what we think is going to be fucked up to them and possibly you too. But let's hope you enjoy it. These are our favorite performances and films from 1997. Why did we pick this year? You say. We hadn't done anything in the 90s in a while. Mm -hmm. We only did one year so far in the 90s, so we, we got to cover the 90s more. Yep. I've been gone. It's been a while. We haven't done a video. I've been working in the movies. NDA says I can't tell you the movies I've been working on, but did you see that Assassination Nation trailer? Or the Purge TV series trailer? Did you see that the Green Book was coming out on November 21st? I thought I was in those. I thought those were just interesting suggestions of trailers to watch. <laughs> those are coming out. I can talk about those. Oh, you can talk I about I can those. say I was in those. I can't say what I was doing today, though. Did you see Queen Sugar on the uh, Oprah's <laughs> channel? I'm just asking. I didn't say I was doing it or anything. Well played. Here are some uh, potential nominees for this year of 1997. I don't think it's a particularly strong year, but it's not awful. I think it's a great year. We differ. One thing that certainly makes 1997 great is it features David Lynch's uh, Lost Highway, which some people really love, some people don't really like. Most of the time it kind of fits in the middle of your preferred David Lynch films. Not as worst, definitely not as best. That's usually what people think. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. I think you got a pretty good VHS copy signed by Peter Deming. Thanks to me. That's true. That's right. Yeah, I worked with Peter Deming recently. Got him to sign Joe Bear's Lost Highway to Joe. Because I love my brother. Mm -hmm. And what did I forget? To get a fucking picture. autograph myself or a picture or anything. I don't ever think about myself. I was in awe. When you got Peter Deming aiming a camera at you, skin your David Lynch fan. Yeah. <laughs> I wet my pants. <laughs> okay, so Lost Highway is one of those potential options. And also for 1997, you'll recall... Titanic. Celine. <laughs> I'm Celine. Celine. Dab. <laughs> I'm Celine. <laughs> um, Crack. L.A. Confidential. As good as it gets. <laughs> oh shit, we're in trouble. Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> the Full Monty, The Apostle, Amistad, Deconstructing Harry, Contact, Face Off, not the TV show, Con Air, Boogie Nights, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. John Cusack. The Sweet Hereafter. That director was nominated for a Academy Award, but I don't remember his name. Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh. Uh, 
absolute power. That's another Clint Eastwood. He did Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, too. Uh huh. Jackie Brown. Quentin Tarantino makes the year. Uh, Men in Black. Starship Troopers. <laughs> That's some fucked up shit. The Fifth Element. See what I'm talking about? Good goddamn year. The Lost World, Jurassic Park. The Devil's Advocate. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Uh, gross Point Blank. Private Parts. <laughs> ah. Chasing Amy. U Turn. Where? Lolita. <laughs> that would obviously be the remake. The Edge. Alien Resurrection. Love and Death on Long Island. Oh. Trojan War. Trojan War. We'll talk about that one at the end of the program because I don't think it comes up at any of the awards, but it's a good movie. The House of Yes. Who, where, huh? Oh, no. In and Out. In and Out. <laughs> ah, Frank Oz. In and Out. Uh, that was just a few. Yep, that was just a sampling. About we, I usually give you about thirty-five to fifty, but we watch about two hundred and fifty before we come to these conclusions of ours. <laughs> and that was some of the more popular entries for the year, nineteen ninety-seven. <laughs> the first category is. Best editing. Oh. Best editing. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first this time. My nominees for best editing, 1997. Lost Highway. Oh, right on track. Jackie Brown. Titanic. Boogie Nights. Oh, brown Chicken Brown Cow. <laughs> and Starship Troopers. I know there was a lot of other ones that probably deserved it. I don't care. <laughs> Best editing goes to Titanic. Ah, uh, Titanic. That is the Academy Award winner for 1997 Best Editing. Absolutely. And Cameron's films are, James Cameron's films are always uh, good editing. Up for the editing award. I'm not really big on the editing or the cinematography categories. I just kind of... <laughs> it just you just come up with it. <laughs> it's just I gave cinematography to a freaking animated show sure once and not <laughs> because you don't care. <laughs> uh, my nominees for best editing. Oh, uh, uh, Jackie Brown. <laughs> Wake up, voluptuous Titanic. Amistad, Lost Highway, As Good As It Gets, and The Fifth Element. Oh, I didn't put Fifth Element on there. And the winner is James Cameron, Conrad Buff, and Richard A. Harris for Titanic. Titanic. We agree with the Academy. So far. My girlfriend never saw it. Just wanted to watch it one day. When we got three and a half hours to spare. 
you know, and he says, Rose, you're so stupid. What are you doing? And she's like, I jump, you jump. And yes, I cried when that happened. I'm sorry. The damn movie suckered me in good enough to make me feel at that moment. But later on, when she hogged up the damn Schiffer robe and let him get out of the cold water. <laughs> she was on a Davenport. <laughs> she lost me on that one. Fat bitch. I, <laughs> I am a crush on King Winslet. Next category. Best cinematography. Another one of my brother's favorites. I'll start this one off. My nominees are Titanic. You don't say. Amistad. I'm mistaken. Lost Highway. Hmm. The Lost World. Jurassic Park. L.A. Confidential. Hmm. And Jackie Brown. Jackie. And my winner. You take the Lost Highway to get to the Lost World. It's possible. It's probable. <laughs> my winner for Best Cinematography, 1997, Fucked Up Shit Award. Russell Carpenter, who shot Titanic. Titanic. That was the Academy Award winner, and once again, I agree with him. Titanic was a an epic. It's it's the epic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Titular. It's it's <laughs> it's titular. It's the one that we're gonna judge all the others against. And the Academy said, Whoa. And the Academy said too. My nominations for cinematography nineteen ninety seven. Titanic. The fifth the fifth element. Amistad. Alex Carr, the Love is Paul, L.A. Confidential, and Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World. <laughs> and my wiener is between my legs, but my winner is Titanic. Holy shmover! Ooh, it took the two. We agree with the Academy. This is some fucked up shit. We never agree with the Academy. Would you not shoot have been all this? It is a solid year for film. It's a very solid year. Our Starship Trooper. <laughs> oh man. Get with it. Next category, 1997. The best films of 1997. As presented by Joe and James. <laughs> Should I call you Beaver? Why not? This is Beaver. The next <laughs> the next category is best score or soundtrack. I'll take this one. Damn frog. <laughs> My nominations. And I know Danny Elfman was nominated twice in this category for the Academy Awards and lost to the full Monty. They asked him on the red carpet, Mr. Danny Elfman, you're nominated twice. What do you think your chances are? And he was like, they could have a Danny Elfman award and I wouldn't win it. And he was right, because the full money won. The full money, what's that? Oh, yeah, people put that in all the time. I just can't wait to listen to the full money soundtrack. <laughs> anyway, I don't have Danny Elfman on my list either because, you know, we do soundtracks. <laughs> Right, right. So my nominations are... And sometimes mm -hmm. soundtracks are just too good. Yeah, sometimes. Boogie Nights. Lost Highway. Gross Point Blank. As a fog. The Fifth Element. <laughs> Was that Sarah Brightman? I don't know. Look up Sarah Brightman and, I, and that song popped up. But it sounds like a keyboard to me. It's a synthesizer. <laughs> and Titanic. Celine Dion. She made it. Danny Elfman didn't. Damn. Danny, you're, you're my boy. You're yeah, my Danny, favorite. Dan, we love you, Danny. He touched my hand once. I didn't wash it for like a whole year. I was on stage with him once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the end of the 
mosh, my brother ends up on the stage. And, De and James gets off the stage and Danny Elfman says, I'm glad everybody's having so much fun tonight. And he looks at my brother and says, some of us are having too much fun or something like that. Oh, my God. Security guard brought me my shoe. And about 10 minutes later, he said, put this back on your feet and keep your feet on the ground. And I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> Boingo Boingo was a, actually they were Boingo that night. Yeah. Well, they were amazing. Danny Elfman is a, a master to behold live. Yes. Feel the energy coming off the stage. Yes. No one lives forever. Hey. <laughs> that soundtrack, Gross Point Blank. Wow. Yes. Gross Point Blank. Let my love open the door. It's got gold tones on tail. It's got white eyes. And it's got... It was uh, produced and arranged by Joe Strummer of The Clash fame. And they had the specials and The Clash and... Um, You're selling a good album here. Yeah, actually it's two volumes. They had to make two volumes to get all the music. And Violent Femmes 2000... Seven, no, Violent Films 2000 is what it was called. Yeah. A different version of Blister in the Sun by Violent Films is on the first volume soundtrack, and you should check it out and buy it and listen to it over and over and over again. <laughs> My nominees for Best Score or Soundtrack, Titanic, Angeline, Lost Highway, of course. <laughs> Amistad. Come <laughs> on, Uh Men in Black, which was Danny Elfman. Ow! Goodwill Hunting, which was Danny Elfman. Ow! And, of course, Gross Point Blank. As a font. And my winner, best score or soundtrack, actually is a tie, because I'm giving it to a score and a soundtrack. Mm. Titanic for best score, Lost Highway for best soundtrack. Uh, put a spell on you, because you're mine. I can't stand the things that you do when you're running around. <laughs> I don't care, I don't want me. 1997. The next category is Best Screenplay. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Take it away. My nominees for Best Screenplay 1997. Fucked Up Shit Award. Chasing Amy. Hated the movie, but I'll give him some, some dibs on the screenplay. Lost Highway, because David Lynch rules. Uh, Deconstructing Harry, which is Woody Allen. Mm -hmm. Amistad. Mm -hmm. And Good Will Hunting. Wow, I don't think I have any of those. <laughs> Hmm. And we combine adapted and original. Yeah. And my winner for best screenplay in 1987 is Woody Allen for Deconstructing Harry. Hmm. Actually, one of my favorite Woody Allen movies. Reconstruction. <laughs> my favorite Woody Allen movies are probably Deconstructing Harry and. Uh, Manhattan Murder Mystery, and I really liked uh, Match Point. Match Point. Screenplay. 1997. Amistad. Private Parts. 
Oh yeah, that was so good. Pig vomit. <laughs> as good as it gets. I was about to say WNBC. <laughs> <laughs> Over a dog. Jackie Brown. When you absolutely positively gotta kill every last motherfucker in the room, <laughs> except no substitute. <laughs> and in and out. Excuse me, are we a little teapot? <laughs> <laughs> What a fabulous window treatment. What a fabulous window treatment. That was a trick. <laughs> now untuck your shirt. Only half. Aw, oh, but this looks stupid. You, you hate, hate this, this, don't you? <laughs> oh, we're going to we have to teach y'all about some in and out if you ain't seen it. If you guys haven't seen in and out come on. Directed by Frank Oz. Brilliant, brilliant movie. Brilliant comedy. But the best screenplay of 1997. Yes, I said it. As good as it gets. Don't you be like me. <laughs> Don't you be like me. I went to the movies to see that movie. Ooh-wee. At the theater. Don't you be like me. <laughs> how, do you, how do you write women so well? I think of a man, and then I take away reason <laughs> and accountability. Oh my God. Now, that was written by James L. Brooks, right? Yes. Who directed it? Reason and accountability. Or what? But that's how you write a woman. You think of a man. And you take away reason and accountability. That's me. That's not, that's not the twin perspective. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. That's yeah. my perspective. Yeah. In the year of the woman, my brother is certainly speaking for himself. <laughs> Hashtag me also. Yeah, and, you know, you have to take into account people's personal situations at the time. I changed my mind. <laughs> Overnight? Or was it a six-month progress? Or... <laughs> well, did you change your mind when you came to me? Oh, okay. Wait, I forgot what category we're on. Um, Screenplay. <clears throat> Over a girl. <laughs> My nominees for Best Screenplay, 1997, are Deconstruct. Wait a minute, I did it already. Yeah, you did your already. Yeah, I don't want. Uh, I hate to it. I hate to it. You were correct. Wait a minute, so we're on the next category. Yeah, all of them. You got them. Female bashing has got me confused. Well, it drives us crazy when we get around it. They're around it 24-7. <laughs> Jack Nicholson is the best. He's the best. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, best Supporting Actress. I think I'm, no, I know what's going on now. Best Supporting Actress. <clears throat> 1997. My nominees are Mila Jovovich, The Fifth Element, Lilu, Gloria Stewart, Titanic. <laughs> Robin M. F. N. Quivers for Private Parts. She was great in that. Joan Cusack. In and out. She was also in Gross Point Blank. And Kim Bassinger for LA Confidential. <laughs> and my winner is Best Supporting Actress. 1997. Joan Cusack for In and Out. I put gross point blank on there because she's in it. But she was in it to win it and in and out. Is everybody gay? <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen Fuck! It. 
Barbara Streisand. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen In and Out, you have to see it. Yes, we're not gay bashing. That was in the movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's a beautiful movie. <laughs> Is everybody gay? <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> And she was watching uh, uh, Richard, what's his name? Richard Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Klein notices it. Ah! Hurry up and turns it off. Oh, he's trying to get it on. Oh, yeah. Look at his wife. Joan Cusack. Okay, that's right. We're on Best Supporting Actress. My nominees are Charlize Theron for The Devil's Advocate, Julianne Moore. For Boogie Nights. Wow, that's a large cock. <laughs> it's so dead bad. She was great. She was a great actress because she was able to play like a bad actress in the role. Yeah. Uh, Mila Jovovich for The Fifth Element. Judy Davis for Deconstructing Harry because I'm a fan. And she kicks ass in that movie too. And, uh, uh, Joan Kuzak for In and Out. That was your winner. Mm -hmm. My winner is a tie. Mila Jovovich for The Fifth Element and Joan Kuzak for In and Out. I'd love to be In and Out of Mila Jovovich. <laughs> <laughs> Mila, Mila was great in that. She's an artist and she does very well. Yes. You ever see Dummy? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, she's kind of annoying in it, but she did a great job annoying me. Oh, we're to the next category. Yeah, moving right along. Uh, best Supporting Actor, 1997. So far, this is some fucked up shit. That's what I'm saying, mostly. <laughs> Best Supporting Actor is usually one that is hard to decide. I've got six nominees this year. Robin Williams, the Academy Award winner for Good Will Hunting. Is that supporting? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit fire. William H. Macy for Boogie Nights. Good stuff there. Anthony Hopkins for Amistad. He was nominated for Academy Award for that. Morgan Freeman for Amistad. Ooh. Matthew McConaughey for Amistad. Damn, did Amistad happen during the McConaughey songs? He was a good actor back then, and I recognized it, and they recognized it much later. Uh, and Greg Kinnear for As Good As It Gets. He loves him some Greg Kinnear. <laughs> Greg Kinnear serves a purpose. <laughs> Would you say uh, hard bottom? No. Power bottom. Power bottom. My winner for Best Supporting Actor, 1997. Anthony Hopkins for Amistad. This is my all-time favorite performance by Anthony Hopkins. His performance in Amistad. So this is well-deserved, and it wasn't really a challenge for me. What's for me? Because what's the... I, I didn't put Robin Williams in this category. That's all right. This is the Fucked Up Shit Awards, not the Academy Awards. You know, his name was above Matt Damon. Matt <laughs> Damon. <laughs> but, uh... Al Pacino's name was ahead of Keanu Reeves, but we all know Keanu Reeves was a star of that movie. Yes. So my supporting actor nominations are Al Pacino for The Devil's Advocate. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Look, but don't touch. <laughs> Greg Kinnear, as good as it gets. Oh, you like him. You like him. I nominated him. 
Chris Tucker for the fifth element. That was some good shit. <laughs> come back, come back. Samuel L. Jackson, when you positively, absolutely have to be in another Quentin Tarantino movie for Jackie Brown. After Marvel's done raping you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I got this patch? Uh, and Nick Nolte for U-Turn. See a no U-Turn? It says no U-Turn. <laughs> That's what I told the cop. <laughs> I'm a good ass. <laughs> and my winner, because... It was the best performance of that year. The supporting actor, 1997, Greg Kinnear. As good as it gets, and that was as good as it got. <laughs> unless, you, unless we're talking mystery, man. <laughs> it was good in that, too. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and, and, um, uh, what Brick, planet are you from? Briggs Bear. Oh, yeah, uh, I would too. That was the last thing I saw in that. Who was good in that? Greg Kania. You know who else was good in Bridge View Air? Mark Hamill was fucking good in Bridge View Air. Mark Hamill was Yeah. He just comes off so wooden in those Star Wars movies. <laughs> he fucking ruled in that one. And in uh, Kingsman. Kicked a lot of ass in his little scene. Just get him out of his element. I gotta watch that movie where he plays a gay guy, I think. It was like they're all holed up in this bar or something. I forget the name. Sushi Girl. I might have seen that one. I never watched it. Anyway, we just got way off of years. Mm -hmm. We're in 1997. The next category is Best Lead Actress 1997. Alrighty, my turn. I had six nominations. I mentioned one because I'm a Sigourney Weaver fan. I'm just mentioning her. She's not my top five. I know Alien Resident. I know. Uh, find me another franchise with better directors than Alien. Yeah. Damn. That might be the worst movie that dude directed. I loved it. I loved all three, four of the Alien. Personal. You ain't watched Covenant yet. Yeah, people have spit on that. My nominations are Kate Winslet, Titanic. That's a bird birch. <laughs> Helen Hunt. I love her. I do too. You're what, Helen Hunt? Uh, no. <laughs> She's I. Shy. She I reminded see. me of my first wife in the uh, in the uh, Twister. So ever since then, kind of nothing against you, Helen. I'm mad about you, Helen. <laughs> Pam Greer, Jackie Brown, Sugar's Pun Sister, <laughs> Jodie Foster, Contact. Jodie Foster is great in anything and everything. So says she. And Parker Posey for the House of Yes! <laughs> This came out of nowhere. A little house of yes. I have no idea what's going to win. My winner for Best Actress 1997 is Helen Hunt. As good as it gets. And once again, it was as good as it got for Helen Hunt. She was the Academy Award winner. Yes, she was. And she's really good. You hold your own with Jack Nicholson, you get a you get a, a little statue, a little Jack Nicholson statue. You get a fucked up shit award. You get a fucked up shit award. It's it, it's about that big too, but it's golden. We've never we've never just we've never designed the fucked up shit award statuette. So you're saying it should be a little Jack Nicholson? <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. I'd roll with that. It should be streamlined. About well, you always want it bigger. 
You don't want a little trophy. No. You want a big trophy. It should be just a half inch taller than the uh, Oscar. It doesn't matter how big it is, she's going to want another half inch. <laughs> if it's six, she's going to want six and a half. If it's eight, she's okay. going to want eight and a half. Okay. Just saying. My brother's on her rolls. It would fit on the mantle a little better, a little tighter. <laughs> To each their own, yes. I have nominees for Best Actress, 1997, as well. <laughs> Best Lead Actress, 1997. My nominees are Helen Hunt for As Good As It Gets. <laughs> Kate Winslet for Titanic, Don't Say It. Davenport. Uh, Sigourney Weaver for Alien Resurrection. You did, and she owns it. And she and I've nominated her for every Alien movie. She, she fucked an alien, alien, man. She won. I know she won for at least one. That's the one she fucked an alien. In. Did she win for this one? I don't know. I also nominated Patricia Arquette for Lost Highway. Really? I did. I did. Well, she does get naked. <laughs> I'm here all week and, and I also nominated Parker Posey Man For uh, the House of Yes If there's only one reason to say Yes, I'm going to watch House of Yes It's a great movie It's for Parker Posey That's It's a good such movie. a strange fuck. It's such a strange movie it's a just it's yeah, got like Freddie Prince Jr. and Tori Spelling in it, you know. It's just, just such a strange movie. But there is one reason to watch it, and it is my winner for Best Lead Actress, 1997, Parker Posey, The House of Yes. It's it's amazing. <laughs> She's really good in everything she does, but this is like her her you know, miracle moment. That's some fucked up shit. <laughs> Good. Search it out. House of Yes. Watch it. Say think yes. About, think about yes. Say yes. To House of Yes. To House of Yes. God. I would roll my eyes in that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The next category is Best Lead Actor. 1997 Best Lead Actor. My nominees are Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Klein for In and Out. Wow. I'm be a little teapot. <laughs> Jack Nicholson, as good as it gets. John Hurt for Love and Death on Long Island. I can argue with John Hurt. I have to watch that movie now. Bruce Willis for The Fifth Element. Ooh, I'm a fan. Dallas. Corbin. Corbin. Corbin, my man. Nicholas Cage for Face Off. What? And John Travolta for Face Off. Wow. Because I'm a fucked up weirdo. Well, you're half right. And my winner, Best Lead Actor, 1997. Hooked up shit hole. Or it's his. Hooked up shit hole. John Hurt, Love and Death on Long Island. I can't believe I didn't give it to him for the Elder Man, but I gave it to him for 1997. Wow. Bill Pullman and Falco Zargetti were not nominated or considered from Lost Highway. What do you say for her? Best Lead Actor, 1997. I've got ten nominations. Holy moly. John Cusack. For Gross Point Blank. Yeah, not for Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Well, you get, when you're in two movies and you're good in both, you get nominated, like Nicolas Cage and Con Air and Face Off. I would put it under face off. Yeah. Nicholas Cage. Robert Duvall for the Apostle. That was your Academy Award winner, I believe. Yes. Filmed in Louisiana. 
Howard Stern for private parts. It's so hard to nominate someone who's acting when they're just being themselves, but that's how, that's what acting is. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself. Yep. Kevin Klein, in and out. And in and out and in and out. And flush. <laughs> Sean Penn, you turn. Oh, yeah. Oliver Stone's good. Leonardo DiCaprio for Titanic. Yeah, really. I didn't say I had Robin Williams here for Good Will Hunting. Applesauce, bitch. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins for the, the Amistad. Oh. The Amistad almost said, the Am almost said Apostle. And Jack Nicholson for as good as it gets. I'm going to assume that's your winner. Because I'm going to assume you... You are right. <laughs> Jack is back, baby. Jack Nicholson. The only person that could ever go up against Clint Eastwood for President of the United States. And all Jack would have to say is... I forgot what Robin Williams said. Robin Williams said something about that. So, as good as it gets, got for you, Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Supporting Actor. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's about as good as it gets. <laughs> except, except Joan Cusack. She spanked uh, Bonnie. Who uh, was a uh, supporting actress and as good as it gets? Bonnie Hunt. Bonnie. Um, oh, my God. The one in jail. Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah, comment down below and let us know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember who the supporting actress was. You didn't nominate her. <laughs> okay, here we go now. This is the last two categories from 1987. Fucked up shit awards. Get this in on the 50. <laughs> Best director. And my ten nominations are... <laughs> Robert Zemeckis for Contact. Curtis Hansen for L.A. Confidential. Betty Thomas for Private Parts. Luc Besson for The Fifth Element. James L. Brooks for As Good As It Gets. Paul Verhoeven for Starship Troopers. That was a brilliant directorial effort there. It really was. Everything he does is brilliant. Even Showgirls? Yes, even Showgirls. He knew he was making a comedy. <laughs> Paul Thomas Anderson, Boogie Nights, Long Tracking Shots. Except for in the bedroom. James Cameron, Titanic. Quentin Tarantino, Jackie Brown. And David Lynch for Lost Highway. Wow. That's a going down the road. My winner. Sorry, David. I'm the king of the world. James Cameron Titanic does it again. Is there a better director ever? In the history of directors. God damn it. He directed Piranha. <laughs> Piranha to the spawning. Oh, yeah. With Lance Heinrichson. Yes, but the answer was yes, there are better directors. <laughs> favorite? Better favorite? More favorite? <clears throat> James Cameron for Titanic, damn it. $200 million. And they said, you're crazy. Man, made his out. money back and then re-released it for Valentine's Day and made another hundred million. <laughs> That's when I saw it. Valentine's Day in the, in the movie theater. He also won Best Director Academy Award. I'm year. the king of the world! And they edited out, bitches! <laughs> uh, my, my nominee's Best Director uh, 1997, I limited it to five. <laughs> That's smart. A James Cameron for Titanic because it was it was a Titanic yeah. effort on his part so far God, Luc Besson for the fifth element which I saw at the theater twice and that shit was fun 
twice. Steven Spielberg for Amistad. One of my favorite Spielberg films ever. Wow, I forgot to put Spielberg. All right, we'll take Betty Thomas off Spielberg. I almost added Betty Thomas if I had six. Yeah. She did a great job with, with private parts. Mm -hmm. But I did put Woody Allen for Deconstructing Harry because I'm guilty. Yes, you are. And David Lynch for Lost Highway. And my winner for Best Director. 1997, David Lynch, Lost Highway. It doesn't get as good as it gets without some David Lynch. <laughs> Wait a minute, no, you gave it to, to the camera. Yeah, I did. <sighs> David Lynch beats Cameron. Hmm. So, those are our suggestions, you see. In what confusing <laughs> dots in the story? <laughs> I thought it was well well done. I, I felt it, it. It felt like he was locked up in prison for the rest of his life, so he imagined when he was in prison, the only way he could to get out of a, a death row sentence would be to, to uh, imagine that he transforms into somebody else, and then he tries to counter that life, and it all goes horribly wrong. That's the way I looked at it. Made it fun for me. I often want to be the guy that she cheated with instead of on. So, he got cheated on, then he became the guy that cheated. Yeah. And they did the whole North by Northwest or whatever Hitchcock movie. Right. That does that all the time, every movie. <laughs> so, you mean Lynch? <laughs> yeah. Twin Peaks fucking up motherfucker. <laughs> All right, forgive me. Don't, 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 don't unsubscribe. I gave Lost Highway Best Director, but will it get Best Picture? 1997. Don't unsubscribe because of me. Won't you be like me? We've lost a few already. That's yeah, Brokeback Mountain uh, one that yeah we <laughs> lost two. Yeah, we lost a few subscribers after that one. Oh, you well. lost. Them. Yeah, yeah, it's my fault. I allowed his shit. Hey, I am a proud member of the LGBTQ community. <laughs> You're a member, all right. <laughs> <laughs> there are lots of members. <laughs> Big ones, little ones, fat ones, white ones, black ones. Members. My nominees for Best Picture, 1997. <laughs> the Fifth Element. Wow. Lost Highway. Wow. Amistad. Mm. Titanic. And deconstructing Harry. Hmm. I went there. Deconstructing him. And my winner for best picture, though it didn't get a lot of love throughout, for me, from me, the best overall picture, 1997. I'm sorry, Lost Highway. The Fifth Element by Luc Besson. That's my best picture, 1997. Fifth Element. I wanted to see Lost Highway in the theaters, but it only played for one weekend at one theater in in New Orleans. And I had to work that weekend. So I didn't get to see it at the theater. But I saw the Fifth Element twice. Loved it. I thought it was as fun as any of them goddamn Star Wars remakes, that's for sure. So what do you think about Best Picture? I was in Lafayette, Louisiana at a Prince concert. <laughs> I, I paid, well, the artist formerly known as Prince, I paid $55 for 45 minutes. Met a girl, though. That was Michael. <laughs> and I was supposed to go, <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Michael, too. Uh, this is my this is my impression of uh, Michael Jackson and Prince having sex. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. 
So anyway, we stopped at a house. This guy had a laser disc. And he had some movie on. And I'm looking over at it. The volume was down. And the more I looked over at it, I'm like, there's something fucked up going on with this movie. And I'm like, what is this that you're watching? Or that's on TV. And he's like, oh, it's David Lynch, Lost Highway. And I was like, what? You had that? He actually had it on a VHS tape. And he gave it to me. He said, I, I can make me another copy. So that's how I got it, my hands on Lost Highway. And then at the end of that movie was Pink Floyd and Pompeii. I guess he forgot, or he was recording. <laughs> he forgot he recorded that on there. But So it was like, that tape stayed in the VCR for at least a year. Good movie. <laughs> my nomination is Best Movie of the Year. I got 10. Lost Highway is one of them. You can clap. In and out. Such a good movie. Private that, parts. That was yeah, yeah. In oh. and out was the best comedy of the year. In private, and out. Private parts was pretty damn good. Arnold doesn't dance. He can barely walk. <laughs> Gross point blank. Popcorn. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd. Almost made my best supporting actor. Fifth element. A Jackie Brown. Well, I've got 11 nominations because I didn't have Lost Highway on my list. I was just talking about it. Boogie Nights. Hmm. <laughs> um. Starship. Motherfucking troopers. Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. It's like Babylon 5 meets 90210. Mm -hmm. How can you see Starship Troopers and not think that was just awesome? You mentioned all these movies I mentioned and not want to just watch that one. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that might be the one that I wouldn't change the channel and get stuck watching. Like Shawshank does to me. It's just, man, I'm a star. Like I'm a star. I watched Amistad twice in one week once. I love that movie. <laughs> cried like a baby. As good as it gets. I cried like a baby. Mm -hmm. And Titanic. Awesome. Salute! <laughs> Doing her best in your impression. That know, soundtrack. Why get in you? That soundtrack was a ripoff of in you so bad god. Yeah. <laughs> and my winner. Best movie. Nineteen ninety seven. It's coming up. It's floating up to the top. It's You see, I got the waves, and I got, look at all that room. <laughs> look at all that room she's got. She's got, look, look, well, well, I might need to roll over if I fall asleep. And he's, he's floating away. <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> look at all that room. Okay. They so. could have had her, him and their two kids. <laughs> So Gloria Stewart could have been on that raft. So just to be perfectly clear, my brother is calling her a fat bitch <laughs> because she let him die in the Cold War. So you have to either be cruel and heartless or just just simply too big. And there wasn't enough room for him. That's what my brother meant. Him being on it would have sunk it. That's why he didn't get on it. Okay. They had enough room, yes. Now, it's her weight that would have brought it down, not his. If he'd have been on it first and pulled her up and they started sinking, just think about it. <laughs> I, you think, I think she weighed more than he did. Do you think yes. if they switched, like, every hour, one got out the water and let the other one in, and an hour later they switched, would they have both died if they did that? You oh. know... There was enough bodies floating around that water with, with life vests on that he could have just crawled on top of a bunch of bodies and been out of the water. That was what I was thinking. 
I was crying. I'm in. I'm in love. I'm in love with her too. You know. I'm. I make fun. <laughs> I can see him swimming away. <laughs> you know, just anywhere is better than floating out in the water. Right yeah, I'm just gonna hang here. <laughs> My toes are starting to. I don't. We're sucking all the romance right out. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> I've got men to leave. The boat crashes, people. It crashes. It does. Spoiler alert. Titanic was the winner for Best Picture, right? No. I think as good as it gets won. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. It was one of those two. Jack won, Helen won, Greg won. Um, James won. Yeah, James L. Brooks won. Yeah, I think James L. Brooks won Best Director and as good as it gets. No. Because James Oh, James, that's right, James Cameron. I'm the king of the world. No, he might have been up there. I'm the king of the world for the movie. He definitely won Best Director uh, for Titanic Cameron. Definitely. That's sad. That was the Fucked Up Shit Awards for 1997. I'm telling you, go find In and Out, directed by Frank Oz, Yoda himself, with Kevin Klein and Tom Selleck. I'm gay. I'm gay. Uh, <laughs> and Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon. Wilford Brimley. Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds. Debbie wow. Reynolds is so good. This is fun. She's <laughs> Oh, and what other movies? You know, the House of Yes, Parker Posey's performance, Gross Point Blank, Private Parts of You. If you've avoided it for any reason, it's worth a watch. Directed by a woman, so it was done with, with some class. <laughs> Pig vomit. Have you in? The way she directed it, it made his, his harshness funny. You know, it, it, it wasn't told on you. From hearing it over and over again. I enjoyed the hell out of the edge with Alec Baldwin and Anthony Hopkins, and uh, it was directed by. Oh, uh, but I bought it. I bought it on VHS. I enjoyed it that much. It's worth a look. And you said Trojan War before. Trojan War, man. It's a kid. It's a comedy. It's got Jennifer Love Hewitt in it, and I don't know the kid's name. But a special appearance from Anthony Michael Hall and Steve Austin himself. Um, what's his name? Lee Majors. Lee Majors. And um, yeah, yeah, he wants he wants he's gonna bang this girl, but he needs a condom, and then he leaves to go get a condom, and that's the rest of the night, straight like after hours. It's just like this right. guy just gets in the shit. Or Harold Harold Kumar. Yeah, yeah, they just. Yep, and uh, of course Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, oh, fall on your knife, Peter Murphy. Through the wild, uh, hey, Starship you, Troopers. Yeah, you've already heard me proclaim my love for deconstructing Harry and Amistad. And uh, I would have to say, The Fifth Element was my favorite movie of that year. And Starship Troopers is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> so well done. Yeah. And you love Gross Point Blank. You, you were a fan of that from the beginning. And we both hated Chasing Amy, even though we love Kevin Smith. Yeah, I'm just not just... Yeah. Well, maybe because I lived it? I don't know. You know? It's one of those things where it's like... Mm -hmm. I don't want to go through that shit again. <laughs> Great. You love a woman. And me. Can we all three? <laughs> they didn't do that in the movie. So weird. Uh -huh. You just put a, 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 a added uh, real thematic element to it. I would have appreciated that shit. If if I was if I was in love with a lesbian or was in love with me and another woman, I would have appreciated it if she would have said, "Why not all three? <laughs> She said, there's just something about a woman's head between my legs that a man will never be able to compete with. And I was like, I like her. <laughs> so I was like, this is going to be fun. I barely survived. We're going to try to lose as many subscribers as possible this episode. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
and the man. But that was it. That was it. We had to throw in some 90s and another year featuring David Lynch, Lost Highway. I gave him Best Director and Best Soundtrack. Mm -hmm. hmm. I worked 60 hours this week. And I'm about to go make dodo. <laughs> so that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. 1997, the best films of 1997. Or at least the most fucked up. <laughs> or as we like to say, the fucked up shit awards. Fucked up shit awards. Subscribe to Rosenbelt 10 for more crazy videos like this from people who love David Lynch and Twin Peaks. I'm Joe. I'm Joe. This has been Twin Perspective, the best films of 1997. We hope you enjoyed it, and tune in again next time. And if you do, we'll be seeing you in the trees. <laughs> Bye.